Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Saturn. Today's video is all about things you shouldn't be doing with your chinchilla. Now some of these things may contradict what you've heard in the past. There is a lot of misinformation and BS out there on the internet and I aim to cut through that one video at a time. Okay, a little bit about me before we get started. I am an owner and a chinchilla breeder and I have been keeping and breeding chinchillas for nearly 30 years now. Does this make me an expert? No! Hell no! I don't believe you can be an expert in pet care or have all the information about the care of an animal. Research is continuously evolving and I don't believe that any one person can know all the answers. Does it mean I might have a little bit more knowledge than someone that has only owned chinchillas for a few years? Yes, potentially. It really depends on how much research the person has done. But I do think experience is invaluable. So let's get started with the first thing. Number one, don't limit the amount of pellets you give your chinchillas. This is a common piece of information that's been widely circulated on the internet that it's a good idea to give your chinchillas less pellets so they don't overeat and eat more hay. Please do not do this unless you've been advised to by your vet for a medical reason. Most of the chinchillas nutrition actually comes from their pellets and not from their hay. Limiting the amount of pellets can cause in some circumstances your chinchilla to become malnourished it is far far better to free feed your chinchilla and most if not all reputable breeders would agree with me on this that and most reputable breeders do actually free feed their chinchillas so what does free feeding mean it means that your chinchilla has access to their pellets all the time now, does this mean you should fill up your chinchilla's food bowl to the brim with pellets? No, because most chinchillas will not eat that much. And when a chinchilla isn't hungry anymore, they're more than likely going to dig through that food bowl and put food absolutely everywhere in the cage, which is a lot of mess for you to clean up and it also costs money so it's a little bit of trial and error put some food in your chinchilla's cage if there's loads left in the morning then obviously start to feed them less if there's no pellets in their food bowl in the morning time then you can give them more until they're not eating every single last pellet in their cage but Ali I hear you cry won't this cause your chinchilla not to eat their hay no not normally chinchillas generally love hay my chinchillas will often go for fresh hay before they even start their pellets however if you are struggling to get your chinchilla to eat hay I have a whole video on how to encourage your chinchilla to eat their hay I'll link it in the description below but if you're really, really struggling to get your chinchilla to eat hay and they're just refusing to eat it, your chinchilla may already be suffering with some teeth issues which are quite often caused by genetics. Now, one of the reasons why a chinchilla might not eat their hay is because it's too painful for them to actually eat it and it's easier for them to eat the pellets. So if your chinchilla is really, really refusing to eat any form of hay, then I would honestly take your chinchilla to the vet and just get them checked out and get those those teeth checked out and make sure they haven't got any underlying issues. Number two, don't have your chinchilla out for playtime for hours at a time. Again, this is another piece of misinformation that's out there. I think it comes from pet Facebook groups that think that it's cruel to have your chinchilla in a cage all the time. But in all honesty, chinchillas get exhausted very, very quickly, especially when they're young. Exhaustion can lead to fits and seizures in your chinchilla. So it's far better to be on the safe side and have them out of their cage for 30 minutes at a time rather than hours and hours and hours outside their cage. Number three, don't give your chinchilla dried fruit, seeds and nuts. This misinformation comes from old care books that before we knew just how detrimental these are to a chinchilla's health. In the old care books, they quite often say that nuts and seeds and fruits are really good treats for them which we now know is just not the case although an odd nut or a piece of fruit won't kill your chinchilla it is really really unhealthy for them and long term if you're regularly giving them treats like that it potentially could decrease their lifespan overall number four 
Don't neuter your chinchillas. There's no benefit to neutering a chinchilla unless you have a male and female together that you don't want breeding. But in reality, it's far better to keep same-sex pairs together rather than mixed pairs. So there's absolutely no need to neuter and spay a chinchilla. It doesn't change their behavior in any way and Unlike rabbits, it has absolutely no health benefits for the chinchilla at all. And it's quite a risky operation to do. So yeah, it's, it's completely unnecessary. Now, I understand that some rescue centers will neuter their chinchillas before rehoming them. And this is to ensure they never get bred with. But in reality, it's probably far better for them just to make sure they're rehoming their chinchillas to people with same sexed groups so they're never going to be in a mixed pair so that's my personal opinion on neutering and spaying you do not need to neuter and spay your chinchillas it's complete nonsense it's completely unnecessary if you can try to avoid doing that don't give your chinchillas exceptionally tall cages although height is important in a chinchilla's cage because they do like to leap and jump floor space should be given a priority although chinchillas are very agile they are also incredibly clumsy and if you have an exceptionally tall cage they may fall when jumping and if they fall they can seriously seriously injure themselves with all kinds of things happening like broken legs broken backs so in reality if you want to give them a big cage go for something that has more floor space than height so i would say the best height for a chinchilla cage is around the double critination type of height anything taller than that you're looking at potential injuries i would stay away from really 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 tall cages because they could quite easily injure themselves so the next one is fairly obvious but it is one that i like to talk about in my chinchilla videos and that is do not give your chinchillas exercise balls they are cruel for any animal but are particularly dangerous for chinchillas as chinchillas are prone to overheating and they are likely to overheat in those type of balls they have very very poor ventilation it is just a recipe for disaster if you have one of these chinchilla balls and you like putting your chinchilla in them to run around i uh, please just try and ditch the balls and go for a playpen instead if you don't want your chinchilla chewing up your furniture maybe consider a playpen rather than having a chinchilla running around in one of these balls they are seriously seriously dangerous so yeah if you have one of those balls ditch it okay thank you so much for listening to my video and i will see you in another video soon thank you and goodbye